Samantha here and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be showing you guys how I clean out my custom content folder in The Sims 4 and a little bit of how I organize it. I am totally totally behind right now with um, my custom content folder. It's gotten to the point where I've gotten a bit lazy and it's also gotten to a point where it's a bit bloated. I think right now I am working with, let's see real quick, I currently and this is as of today, uh, what is today? June, July 2nd I think. Um, um, I have, uh, let's see, 31.1 gigabytes of mods. Now, I know this isn't like the most grandiose size mod folder ever. I know people that have a lot more. But for me, this is quite a bit because lately it's been taking me a considerable amount of time in cast because I have so many pieces of CC and a lot of them I don't touch and I know for sure I don't want them and I'm never going to use them but yet they're still in my game so I'm hoping to kind of clean out my CC folder today um, look for duplicates um, reorganize it get rid of things that I don't want anymore or I'm never going to use or I never liked in the first place and maybe get this down to a sizable portion now granted I will say uh the type of and I don't know if it's my computer or just what have you or maybe the way I don't know but <laughs> thankfully 31 gigabytes of cc does not slow my game down I'm still able to play it it's still very seamless you know I don't have like a lot of lag or anything like that but it's just when it gets into cast and I'm sitting here trying to find things I want my sims to wear or when I want to dress them up or whatever and I have to kind of sift through the things that I don't want or the things I know I'm never going to use. So something that I've been wanting to do <laughs> for probably over a year now, but I haven't had a chance to do it. So anyway, this is my current mods folder. Let's take note, 31.3 gigabytes of CC. We're going to see how low I can get it down on this video. Um, and I'm going to also show you guys how I actually clean out whenever I do successfully clean out my CC folder, how I actually clean it out. So if you don't know where your CC folder is, first and foremost, let me tell you guys, it's going to always be under your documents. Electronic Arts and The Sims 4, which is where all your Sims 4 installation files are and your screenshots, your saves, your tray files, whatever. And then of course, it'll and your recorded videos, all that stuff, and it'll be under mods. So here is, like I said, I normally do very good about keeping things organized. I kind of put them into categories. But then lately when I get new CC, I've just been like kind of labeling it based on the date. <laughs> that I got it and then some of them when I don't know what they are I just kind of put don't know so anyway I need to reorganize this so that way it's easier for me to know when things break or when things um, need to be replaced or updated I know where to go find them and right now I have no clue so first before we get started I want to show you guys some of the tools that I use um, to clean out my CC and then we'll get into the actual cleaning out and I'll show you guys how to do that too. Now, the first tool that I use, and of course this is just me, my personal experience with it because I've used it quite a bit, is a duplicate file remover. I actually downloaded this from the Microsoft Store, but honestly, if you do a Google search and you know how to safely look for programs on Google without downloading viruses or whatever, personally, I was preferring to go through the Microsoft Store because I think there's a little bit of a check um, with the apps and stuff that they put on there and knowing that it's not going to be anything that's going to be harmful to your computer. This one, it doesn't have, I mean, it's four stars. It's not like a stellar review. There's probably some people in there that says it sucks. But for me, I've used it quite a bit and it works really good. It's just a duplicate file remover. And what is handy about this tool is there's been plenty of times I'll re-download the same CC over and over again. And it's more so because if they say, oh, you need a mesh and I'm not sure if I have the mesh or if I see something again and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Not realizing that I already downloaded it from like maybe a year ago. So I always end up redownloading it. So you'll be surprised how many duplicate files I'll have in my CC folder from time to time. So <laughs> because of that, this comes in handy uh, to help clean out your CC. So this is the first tool I get. Um, of course, again, it's duplicate file remover. It's by Video Picks. So if you can't find it on the Microsoft Store. I'm not sure if you could just Google search and find it, but um, it's really handy. So this is the first tool that I use. 
The second tool I use is the Sims 4 Tray Importer. Um, this one is very handy because when you're going through your CC and you're in your actual game, you could actually dress your Sim. Like I always make a Sim that's like unwanted CC or whatever, you know, just make a random Sim. You put all of the CC on that Sim that you don't want uh, the CC up for anymore. And then once you save it, Sims 4 Tray Importer will actually put uh, the files on to the program so you can see where the files are located, what their names are, because a lot of times it's hard to know who the creator is or what they filed, named it or what they named the file. I'm like saying my stuff backwards. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, whatever they name the file and stuff like that, um, you don't know what it is, but this will help pinpoint exactly what files there are so that you can delete them. So that comes in handy. And lately I've been seeing a lot about the Sims 4 Mod Manager. So I have downloaded this and I've played with it. Honestly, my personal experience, I know some people that swear by it. They not only clean out their CC with it, they install their CC with it, which is odd to me because I just drag and drop, but this kind of does it for you. But it's like, it's not any lesser steps. I don't know. But anyway, this is one that a lot of people recommend that you use. The only thing with this one, from what I can tell, which I'll show you guys the program here in a second, it doesn't really show the actual file. So you could see your mods, but it doesn't show you what the mod is. I was hoping that maybe it would show like a thumbnail or something like that. So you can just kind of like see what it looks like so you can know whether you want it or not, but it doesn't really show that. But either way, I'll put the links to all of these things that I use in the description box so you guys can go download them. Mod manager from like what I heard, people swear by it. Personally, I didn't find it very useful, but I'm just gonna include the link just in case you guys wanna give it a go. But uh, let me show you the programs really quickly before we get started. So before we get into the programs that I do enjoy to use, this is the Sims 4 mod manager right here. And like I was saying, you pretty much just kinda, it just says manage mods and it basically lists out all the mods that you have. Now it does tell you what's in each folder because I have like wedding poses as a folder. I have um, wedding as a folder, violent stuff, <laughs> roads of fame. I do have these things like in folders and I guess it'll just kind of show you, um, you know, what items are in what folders. But when you click it, that's pretty much all it does. I mean, you can go and remove, which I guess will delete. Um, you can enable, disable, uh, you can move to, and you can move things in different folders. If you know, hey, this is a toddler, which probably isn't toddler stuff anyway, because I have a toddler folder. Um, oh, this is new CC. But if I wanted to take all the toddler stuff that I saw that says toddler on it and move it to my toddler folder, then I could do it that way. But again, to me, I feel like I could just do this in File Explorer and it doesn't really require a whole separate program when I can just drag and drop it myself. It's kind of odd. Anyway, um, another thing that they have on here is you can see your, um, your screenshots, which right now I don't have very many because I just cleaned out all my screenshots to make space on this computer. <laughs> that was fun. Anyway, and then it also shows you, hold on, um, your settings and you could edit your resource config file, which I personally would not recommend. The game auto generates one for you if you happen to delete it or whatever. So I never felt the need to want to edit it. And then of course the manage mods, which is what this is. This is pretty much this program, unless you guys know, and I've watched videos on it today. I had never used it before. Um, I had it downloaded, but I never used it. So it, I don't know, it's just, if you guys see other uses for it or maybe what you use it for, let me know down in the comment box because I mean, to me, I feel like Sims, the, the Sims 4 tray importer is better, um, which I'll show you guys that now. All right, so this is the Sims 4 tray importer. And like I said, you pretty much have like a Sim. It'll actually show you the picture of the Sim that's in the gallery. You can see like their traits, you can see their names, just whatever. And if you have CC on them, it'll actually show you what the CC they have on them. If you wanna take it off. I mean, if you wanna delete it, you could figure out where it's at. As a matter of fact, I think if you say, yeah, show contain, you right click and you say show containing folder, it should pull it up on here. And then I could just delete it if I decide I don't want it. But so it's kind of weird. Like I think for this reason, and it also shows if you see down here, it'll show like a preview of what the thumbnail and stuff is. So you can kind of like see what the item is. So if you decide you want to delete it, you know, you know that that's what you can do. I, 
you know, personally, I prefer the tray importer over the mod manager for this reason. So anyway, this is the one that I'm going to use for this particular CC clean out. And I'm also going to use a duplicate file thing. So let me show you guys that one so we can get the program running. All right, guys, here we are at step one, the duplicate of file remover program. So I did go on and unlock the full purchase of this because I kind of want to see what other features it had, but you can use the free version. It totally works just fine. As a matter of fact, I used the free version up until like, like a couple days ago when I bought the, uh, event, the, the 399 version, but advanced search just basically gives you the option to search. Like if you wanted to search, um, like I'm just going to pick videos just for the sake of doing it. And then if you want to pick the type of documents, if you want a picture a video, or if you have another file extension you wanted to search for, and then I'm just going to click audio, just yeah, audio for the video for the sake of it. And then step three is you could just choose duplicate files. You could even choose the size that you want to get rid of, or like if you just have things that are larger size and you want to see what they are or even by the name so that is one way you can do it or you could just do by the quick search which is what we're going to do so we're going to add a folder i already have sims 4 here because i've done it before you're going to click mods select folder and then we're going to go on and scan so what i'm going to do is let it do its thing i'm going to actually put my timer on i want to see how long this takes last time i did it i think it took about 10 minutes but it was the first time that i had ever did it it probably won't take as long this time but as soon as it gets started <laughs> i'm going to start my stopwatch but basically you could go grab yourself some tea or i don't know go do some other things while it's doing it let it do its thing. It's going to go through 12,000 plus files. So I'm going to let it do its thing. And then when it's done, I'll come back. All right, guys, it is done. It took a little less than two minutes. It was a minute and 48 seconds. So it didn't take long at all. And here is all of the duplicate files. Apparently it's, I don't know if it's telling me it's 1.5 gigabytes of them, but we could do it by name. Um, of course, they're going to pop up or by size if we want to kind of check out and see what all of them are. But we're going to do it, I guess, by name. What I like to do, which... Honestly, you could kind of trust the program if you want to. Um, oh, what, say an eight, eight, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I don't want to do it by size. I want to do it by duplicate files by names. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it's telling me right now, 835.2 megabytes of CC that we came across is... Um, is um is duplicate so it looks like right here i just got this new cc and apparently ebonic stacy is one that i already had but this is the ping so this is uh or the png the the image file so we can get rid of the extra one that i have and this right here the new cc 12519 i actually had it in my sims 4 creator folder for um sims 4 nexus so the child boots those are duplicates and then of course we have the um this the same thing i got the child boots again but i already had it in the sims 4 nexus folder because i have a creator folder for some of my favorite creators and it just kind of goes on and on and on um of course, if you want to scroll through all of them, you could just scroll through the duplicate files and kind of like check them all out. Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me. Oh, there it go. I'm like, it's taking a while for me to scroll through it. I guess it's thinking about what it wants to do. But um, some of these, though, like this one right here, it's telling me that they're duplicates, but this isn't. It says bath towel and ceramic floor. So we'll uncheck that one because those are probably not duplicates. So it probably would be a good idea. Bird and bird cage, those are not duplicates. Um, so it'd probably be a good idea to go through everything just to make sure, uh, what you picked, see like spring fling lipstick, that is a duplicate, uh, but it'd probably be a good idea to go through everything just to make sure, um, what are you getting is actually a duplicate. So anyway, I'm going to go through all of these as I scroll through, we're going to clean it off and go see how much space. Oh, <laughs> I just saved by just getting rid of duplicates. Okay, guys, funny thing. I just realized, and it's funny because I've used this program quite a few times, but I just realized if you do it by name, it'll actually just show you the ones where the names are similar. If you do it by duplicate files, that's the one that shows you that the size and the names are, like the names may be similar, but definitely the size is the same. So click by name, because so far as I'm scrolling through these, I'm still going through them right now. They really are duplicate files because I'm seeing them pop up in different uh, folders and stuff, and they actually have the exact exact name as opposed to like a size. So I'm going to do by name. Um, I'm going to continue searching through them just to make sure kitchen or is a counter too. Yeah, see, these are definitely by name and not by size. So anyway, I'm going to continue searching through those and then we'll remove the duplicates. All right, guys. So I clicked remove duplicates and things are being removed right now. 
apparently it was 607 duplicate items and they legit were. Now I will say some of these were just like the JPEG image or the ping image of the item, but a lot of them were the, um, actual uh files that's crazy so 607 duplicate files it's going to go through and put them in the recycle bin if for some reason after they go in the recycle bin you realize oh no that was a mistake i really still needed that or whatever you could always go back out and get it what i do is i don't actually fully delete them until i go into the game and um your files are successfully deleted but it still says i have more i don't know what that's about anyway um I, st I still, I don't go in and in through my recycle bin until I get into the game and I make sure that my thumbnails and everything are up to core, up to par, you know, like everything is still working in the proper fashion. So I'm not sure what it's doing right now. It's telling me that it finished deleting, but yeah, it's not. Anyway, I'm gonna let it finish doing this and then I'll show you guys step two. All right, guys, I'm in my game and I'm starting off with just a base family. I have a male, a female, a, a young adult, a young child female, a young child male, and then I have toddlers because you might want to clean out the child CC, the toddler CC, just whatever. So the way I prepare my Sims for being, I guess, tested for lack of a better word is basically take everything off them because anything that they're on, that they have on, it's going to come up in the Sims 4 tray importer as an item. And you want to you don't want to mistakenly delete something or get rid of something that possibly is uh, something that you wanted because they just happen to have that outfit on of course you'll be able to see the little thumbnails oh. uh, when you're in sims 4 tray importer whatever it's called you'll be able to see the thumbnails so you can still kind of go through and verify that that's the items you want to get rid of but for the most part i do that i do the same thing for the kids now i will say if you do have a custom skin on and you want to keep these custom skins it's probably best just to put them in an ea skin because the custom skin will come up as a sims 4 uh, a, a cc a piece of cc so for the kids and it'll probably be the same for the eyes but right now i don't have any default eyes in my game so literally just kind of go through and uh, take off all of the um, the stuff that they have on so they'll be walking around in their uh, undergarments or what have you and go through each outfit doing the exact same thing I just hit the X and just remove everything it'll probably be best which I thought I had a family um, for this purpose but I, I couldn't find them <laughs> in my save files but it probably best if if you do this to make a family save them so that way you don't have to go through this process every single time um, so yep that's basically what I do and of course if you have any upper body accessories you got to remove those and then do the same thing go through everything and remove it and it actually comes in handy too because when it's time for you to go through the cc and decide which ones you want to get rid of you could just make them different outfits so that way you don't have to go in and out your game over and over and i'll show you guys that in a second and of course we got to get up here and get all of this off of her face and i think we're good and let's do cold body um there's nothing up here this comes in handy the little oh that's a cute jacket I don't remember that one. Okay. Um, so anyway, we're going to take all this stuff off as well. And then we'll do the same thing for the boys and for the girls. Uh, I mean, for the toddlers and all that stuff too. Now for the guys, for me, it's a little bit trickier because unfortunately I have this mod by, I think it's by Lumia Lover, um, where my Sims don't, they have, they don't, they have, they don't have a chest. <laughs> it's a, it's honestly a bad mod. I need to take it out of my game. Cause unfortunately when you do this, when they get into bathing suits, uh, which it didn't do it this time. I'm surprised. But normally when they put them in bathing suits, the game defaults them to like the female bathing suit. See right now, it just keeps wanting to get him. It keeps wanting to get him dressed and correct him because he doesn't have any clothes on. So if I toggle off, toggle back on, he'll be in an outfit. So for my guys, I, it's a little bit trickier for me. I just try to put them in EA items and then I'll just change out to CC as we go along. But unfortunately, because of that chess mod which i do need to take out my game it's annoying because it literally defaults it didn't do it now but it literally defaults my guy sims let me see if it'll do it for him it defaults them into female bathing suits yeah i don't know why but i guess it's the mod that makes them think oh i could just put him in this and so yeah i need to get it out of my game for that reason because there's so many times that i see male sims walking around at the pool or whatever um and they have this on but this is the mod right here it's the lean and the muscular it looks really i do like it but unfortunately when you don't have it equipped this is what it looks like 
So of course, like I said, you get off and you get back on, the game is going to correct it and put him in something. So I'm probably going to get rid of it. As a matter of fact, I know I'm going to get rid of it. So anyway, I'm going to take that out of my game. Let me get rid of him for a second. But anyway, so that's basically what I do as I have like a family. Um, so I can go through all the different mods and we just start from a scratch. So we go to faces. I mean, we go to skin details and I just kind of go down. I know for a fact, I want to get rid of this one. Um, I'm not even sure. I remember downloading it. Oh, and then she got tattoos too. So it'd probably be a good idea to take tattoos off. If you have uh, Sims that have, uh, if you have tattoo CC that you might want to get rid of. But anyway, this particular skin, um, it's funny because I remember so many people were downloading it and so many people were like praising it. But then once I got it in my game, I was like, what in the heck is this? It doesn't... I, I don't know. But anyway, so I know for sure I want to get rid of this. The only problem with this skin tone in particular is I won't be able to layer it up with other skin tones. Like if I wanted to get rid of this one too. So I'll probably just uh, toggle for this one. So we'll pick that skin tone. There are more that I want to get rid of though, which kind of sucks because I think this one, no, not maybe that one. Um, this one for sure. I want to get rid of because it just, it looks, make sure Sims looks splotchy. If you see right underneath here, underneath the eye thingy i want to get rid of that one too um so probably what i'm gonna have to do is make two female sims just so i can find all the sims stuff can i do can i do oh it's letting me do both oh <gasps> yay this must be a different yeah both are highlighted so i'll you i'll keep both on her for right now so we're definitely getting rid of those two and sometimes it might take a couple of passes for you to get through everything just to make sure but I literally go through every single category and what'll help, which I should have done this beforehand is if you actually toggle for just custom content and we're going to go through every single hair, this hair, while it is an interesting piece of hair, I will never use it. As a matter of fact, I have never used it. So I'll put this on her. I'll make a second outfit, put this one. Cause I don't want that one either. Make a second outfit, put that on her, make a third, another outfit. I mean, I'm saying second and put that on her. I'm going to get rid of all of the Savage Sims. Another way is I could just write Savage Sims, Afro Puff 3C, 4C and just delete them. But one good thing about Sims 4 tray file is it'll actually show me the location of the, um, of the item so that way I don't have to go searching for it. So we did one, two, three. So I'm gonna put this on her formal, add another outfit, put that on that, add another outfit. And we're just gonna keep going through, adding outfits, putting the hair that you don't want or whatever item you don't want. Then we'll go to athletic and do the same exact thing just to make sure we get rid of all of those all right so we're done with that for the hairstyles we'll continue going on i'm going to make a new outfit we'll go through them real quick some of them i don't really mind but if i'm being honest this just doesn't match my game aesthetic so i probably won't use it it's a cute hair the only fear is i have is if i get rid of it and there's like a mesh or this was the mesh and i needed it for whatever reason uh this is another hair it's kind of like and you know I, I can when it when it comes to my game, I have like a certain aesthetic I want to follow. And some people might think I'm being uh, critical or I'm being um, too picky. But truth be told is I have a lot of Sims that randomly generate in some of these hairs and it annoys me when I see them walking around and I won't even choose to put that on a Sim, you know, so this hairstyle, while it's not horrible, there's certain things about it that makes me not want to use it. So guess what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, and then let's go ahead and make another outfit. So we're just going to go through all the hair. Some of them, I don't even have to toggle them. Like I just know. And see, I think this is the mesh or this is the recolor. So we'll have to get rid of that one too. These are pretty much, yeah, this one is a more smoother. This is a more thingy. I don't, well, now that I'm looking at it some more, it's not a bad hair, but I just, every time I think about putting it on a sim, I just don't use it. Like, let's keep it real. All right, let's go to sleep. We'll pick another category here. Um, this hair, we're just going to go through all of them real quick and just figure out which ones I don't want. Um, and it's, it's fairly easy. You just kind of click through. Of course, it's going to take some time depending upon how much CC you have to kind of go through. And honestly, I could just look at some of these and determine. This one is funny because I thought I had like a use for it. But the recolors are just too Play-Doh-y, I guess you could say. Like they literally look like somebody sculpted Play-Doh 
and stuck them on my sims head and it's a pretty hairstyle it's just the colors so i'll get rid of that one um let's go on and do some more here uh this is another fun one i think it'll be fun if you had like a certain thing you were going for so i'll stick i want to keep that one um but anyway we can go ahead and continue on if you happen to come across a piece of CC like this one that says the mesh is missing, you, it might be a good idea, especially if you want the hair, to um, go on and mark it as well and just leave it on the sim, even though it looks creepy. Leave it on the sim so that way you're able to either A, go look for the mesh, or B, get out your game altogether. Unfortunately, and it's happened to me quite a bit, I'll go download a hair or a dress or whatever that's a recolor, and it'll tell me get the mesh, and then when I go get the mesh, the mesh is missing it's gone the creator walked away from the community just whatever and then it's like i forget to take that item out my 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 sent my download folder and say hey i don't have the mesh let me just get it out all together so that might have been the situation with this one um honestly i don't even remember not ever having this mesh but anyway so if you get that happening um that is possibly why so anyway we'll go on and mark that one now and i'll go on and continue on Okay, guys, I went through all the hair that I can go through. Unfortunately, I literally filled up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories, five outfits a piece of different hairs, and I didn't even make it halfway through my hair. So what I'll probably do is end up making another female sim and continuing through the hair, but I'll do that later. I kind of want to go into the next category. So basically, we're going to go all the way over back to every day. This was the first one. Now we're going to go over to hats and we're going to do the same thing. I'll probably, like I said, get rid of all these savage sim thingies. I can't even see the laid edges. So let's just go on and get rid of, oh, that's these. Okay. Well, these totally go with these hairs. They're not even connected. So it's not even like on her f head, it seems like. It doesn't it look like it's sitting on top of her head and not on her head. So we'll probably get rid of all of these. Yeah, because yeah, they're not even on her head. Um, so yeah, I'll get rid of all of those. So we'll just go through the outfits again, just like I did. Of course, we want to toggle again, custom content. Once you do it one time, all of them will stay like that. So um, some of these, like I said, I know I don't have to go through like the belt. I, I like that. I like this. I'll just go through everything and make sure we're good to go um, and go from there. Okay, surprisingly for the hats, I didn't even make it all the way through formal, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But anyway, I did get rid of like those bangs that are always like giving me the dog on blues. Um, I don't even know. The funny thing is, I wouldn't mind keeping them. Um, these right here, the Lee Lilith, because I thought that they could pretty much transform hairs and make them look totally different and cool. Uh, but the problem is, is they auto generate on random sims and it never makes any sense. Like it never <laughs> makes any sense. So I, I'm on the fence about those. I might keep those in my game and just see if I could disable them for random. So right now they're on um, one of these outfits. Uh, let's see. I forget which one uh yeah on this one so you can see the bangs right here um but part of me kind of wants to keep them so we'll have to wait and see what happens with those but anyway let's go on and head off into accessories and i think this beard right here oh my gosh i don't even know why it comes up for females um so I guess the creator, I'm not, I don't know. I think it was, I think this is an Ebonics beard, but I guess when she created it, she didn't tag it just for males. So every once in a while, I do see females walk around with this beard. Um, so either I need to fix it in Sims 4 Studio, which I can show you guys that too on this video. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I'm gonna have to edit it anyway. Um, but maybe I'll show you guys at the end of the video or if you want to see a video on how to change the tags on custom content I feel like if you do it for your personal use and you as long as you don't reshare it it should be fine a lot of custom content creators their terms of use um basically say don't don't share my stuff or basically basically if you want to say share it send the link to the creator not share it like yourself like don't send it to anybody or don't upload it and and claim it as your own so I'll probably just go through and fix the tag on this one. There's also some hairs and I actually, 
I, I don't I don't think I want to bother with it but there are some hairs that I would primarily probably use just for guys that come over on the girl side and eventually I probably will go through those two and fix those so they just show up up and it's really just for cast purposes so when you go into cast you'll just see it under the male category or under the masculine category and then if you do have sims that auto generate with them it'll just show up for the boys and not for the ladies because like I said I have seen ladies show up with this beard on like I'm not kidding you guys anyway let's go ahead and continue I'm going to tag it now um but i'm probably just going to go through because i do like the beard i'll probably just go through and fix the tags on it um and just go from there but we're going to go through all the pieces of custom content here i think the accessories i mean honestly the only thing i really was concerned about cleaning out was the hairs and the clothing i'm not really uh, particular about my accessories because there's not anything in here that i just don't enjoy or i don't like of anything I feel like I don't have a good variety but nothing where I feel like I need to just get rid of stuff so I probably won't even go and you'll know that once you're cleaning out your CC if you are in love with everything that you have I mean like this I use it situationally and it mostly was for when I was doing the fallout um, thing so I might take it out just to because I don't need it in my game all the time but if it doesn't bother you and you don't see like Sims walking around with it like I do then it's kind of like yeah you might as well leave it in your game not that big of a deal but uh like this one right here it's kind of weird it's kind of funny but you might have a sim that you could actually use with it and again it's not like in the way so i'll probably keep it as well um so i don't know so the basically saying all that to say i'm going through accessories right now which i forgot to toggle again for custom content ah, it's best if you just go through and do it going in y'all you don't have to worry about it i don't think i really have to worry about too much i'm just going to kind of like skim through everything real quick just to make sure uh, we are good to go. I don't even know. Oh, these are like headphones. Oh, those are cool. I don't even think I remember even having those. Anyways, I'll probably just skim through them really quickly. I think I'm good though when it comes to accessories. Yeah, I'm almost positive I'm good. So we'll go on and move on over to makeup. Now makeup is a little bit tricky for me. Again, makeup is like one of those things where I think it depends on the sim you're using it on, the skin tone of the sim, the style of the sim. Like some of these may work. This right here may look, well, it's not going to even show up on her because of her skin, her skin overlay. But, you know, so I probably won't even go through makeup too, too much. There's not anything makeup wise that I'm just not crazy about. There probably are some that I won't use, but it's not bothersome. You know what I'm saying? So I probably won't even, now the eyes, I do need to purge my eyes. The eyes situation it's pretty bad i'm sorry you're gonna hear my kids in the background um the eye situation is pretty is pretty scary i have a lot of eyes but sadly i actually use a good majority of these there's probably a handful like this one um well actually no that one's not even that bad but there are some that i'll probably just be like like this one is kind of situational like it's got like the cat eye kind of look so if you have like a sim that i don't know but then you get to the dark colors and then it's okay so i'm always on the fence about purging my eyes because i'm just kind of like every once in a while i'll find a use for this stuff so i'll probably just keep these as well so let's go on and skip on down to the clothing um tattoos will be the same way if you want to put a custom tattoo on that you have uh, that you don't want anymore then you can just go through that i'm not I don't download it looks like I download a lot of tattoos but I really don't I probably have these from people sharing their sims with me and I needed to get their tattoos but I really don't download a bunch of tattoos so I bet you a bunch of these are just um, from that or they're these little alien thingies that I downloaded uh, so I'll probably just ignore that as well yeah I'm thinking so um, I also got these little body thingies the other day someone recommended it while i was streaming and i actually like these these bodies look super more realistic than because they got like that little extra thigh thingy right there so i'll probably keep these in my game but if for some reason you have some body presets that you didn't want you could totally uh remove those that way so i'm just gonna put her in a regular one because i don't want to have that come up so let's go ahead and go to tops we're gonna do the same thing we're going to go to um custom content here let's do custom content there we go and we're just gonna start going oh whoa we're gonna start going through them and um figuring out uh what we need to do uh, as far as which ones we want to get rid of so this one is going to be a little bit time consuming i have quite a bit of tops i don't think that there's anything that i'm just like not in love with though but i'll go through everything anyway i think i got this because this is like supposed to be like that harley quinn top um, so I'll probably keep it 
yes yeah, so I'll go through all the tops and then I'll show you guys when I'm done all right guys I have went through all of the tops surprisingly didn't make it too too far we got into a formal category actually no we didn't even get into that because I want that top so we really got into formal category uh three no formal category oh gosh I don't even remember which one we was at okay so apparently I only got uh two I got a mess a missing mesh but now I don't for some reason I think it was this one okay so we got a missing mesh here hopefully it doesn't okay it didn't okay so hopefully I must hopefully it doesn't put it back on there um let's take this off though because I don't know why I just put that on there for her but anyway so we got uh all the tops done so what we would probably need to do is do the bottoms next save the full body because if I go to full body now it's gonna take all the tops off so save the full body for some of the categories we didn't have any tops on so we're just gonna go to bottoms next uh go on and click the same thing custom content then we're gonna go on and go through the bottoms here wow I don't even remember getting <laughs> but it's snazzy okay so anyways we're gonna go through the bodies real quick do the same thing um kind of make sure i do want it don't want it whatever and even if i look at the thumbnail and i say oh yeah i want that i'm still clicking through it just to make sure that there's not a missing mesh because even making sure there's not a missing mesh missing a mesh because even um some of the thumbnails are popping up but when you click on it the mesh is missing it's giving me that little oh these are cute Oh, I don't even remember getting these, but those are cute. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna go through them real quick and uh, do that, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with the bottoms. All right, guys, I am done with the bottoms. So I'm gonna go back to um, the formal, I think the last outfit was two. So this three, I'm gonna go on and put this on full body, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go and do content, custom content. And you also wanna make sure you remove the tag for formal because it ends up not giving you all your CC if you just don't have it with no tag. So just feminine and custom content, and you go through them that way. So we're gonna do the same thing. Like I said, it's time consuming, but it's worth it because you'll get rid of the cc that you don't want so anyway i'm gonna go through full body it's gonna take me it's gonna take me a little time but i will see you guys when i'm done all right guys i have gone through all of the categories for sim one i went on and just gave her some random traits because in order for you to save them to the uh, gallery or to your tray files you have to actually have them completely filled out but we got pretty far the only thing i'm gonna probably have to go back in of course like i told you guys is finish the hairs so there's a strong possibility i might make a second sim or if i don't need one of the kids or something like that for cc then i'll go through and uh do that <laughs> that's creepy looking anyway i will do that for her um, and do that so anyway let's go on and go into the guys like I said for me the guys are going to be a little bit more trickier because I have that uh, mod that like dresses the guys if that, says, if that makes any sense so what I'll probably do first I don't think like I think if I'm being well see and this is this is this is where I get a little bit annoyed about custom content and I don't create custom content so I'm not going to sit there and criticize people who do because I don't like I do a couple recolors here and there for like my personal use if I need something in my game but you know for the most part I don't but things like this I just wish people would just take into effect like tags like I will never dress a guy sim in this hair I just won't you know so it's kind of like it would have been lovely had they put this just for the females and it's a simple tag situation so um i might go on and put these hairs on him just so i can fix the tags and i will show you guys how to do that since i was saying before i might not worry about it but i will anyway so we'll just go on and go through the guy's stuff real quick um and of course like i said there's there's not much that i probably won't get rid of for my guys because but, but see like this one here is kind of like I don't know. I just feel like I wish that you guys just fix the tag properly on that. Anyway, so we'll probably fix the tag on that one as well. So I'll go through the hairs real quick. Um, did I really get into formal already? Okay, so let's click take formal off. And I'll go through the hairs real quick. And what I'll probably do, so I won't show every single thing. I just wanted to give you guys like an overview of basically what I do when I clean out my CC. Um, and that's literally go through every single piece 
of this and of course you don't have to get everything right now if you get like a good bulk done you could always come back in and do a second run um but yeah this is literally what i do i click them and go through them the ones that i'm just not feeling i um go on and get rid of it i'm torn about this one i am like the front right here is it's it's bothering me a little bit but it might be him it might just be the sim it's on like you know sometimes you just have certain sims they they look they look i don't i don't know like hair looks better on them i know for sure i've been wanting to get this one out of my game for some time because the hairline is uneven and it's too far down on the forehead um in my opinion so i'm gonna go on and take <laughs> so Alyssa's over here with me she was just like i agree uh, anyway, so I probably will take that one out. This one too. It's sad because I like, I, I feel like I could use this hair for something. But I mean, like, I mean, put his eyebrows up a little bit. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just, oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to start criticizing. Uh, but I've talked about this one before. So I know for sure if you guys watch any of my custom content video stuff you probably have heard me fuss about that type of stuff before but anyway i'm going to continue going through them i will actually see you guys when i am all the way done so i can show you what to do next and we can see how much cc oh gosh yeah so i'm gonna totally have a guy where <laughs> i'm gonna totally have a guy wear this hairstyle um so i could already see right now i'm probably gonna have to go through all of my ebonics and fix the tags um for the ladies and the guys but this only becomes an issue again when you're um and see i'm getting rid of all of these hairs i got these tags to get rid of so i'm not worried about those but the ebonics i probably will have to go through and fix uh so anyway um, yeah, I'm going to go on and continue going through them. I will see you guys when I am 100% done. Okay, guys, I am finished going through all of my CC. It probably will take another round. Um, I have quite a bit. And I end up using three different ladies to get rid of uh, CC hair because that's how much I needed to get rid of. And also some skin overlays and stuff like that. So, yeah, this <laughs> looking at this floating head is hysterical. But anyway, so what we're going to do is I went on it. Unfortunately, you do have to name everybody. I just randomize the names, just throw some random traits, not that big of a deal. And what we're going to do, we're going to save. And I'm actually going to name this like CC Clean Out. Oh, wow, that looks like a hot mess right there of, of foolishness and craziness. But anyway, so that's pretty much what you have to do. We are going to save household to my library. Yeah. And we're going to go on to go to Sims 4 tray um, folder. What I'm going to do, though, is go in and exit the game because in order for us to delete the things, the items are going to be considered in use. So we're going to want to exit the game. Um, so that way we don't have to worry about um, not being able to delete the items once we find it. So we're going to actually go on and exit game. I cannot save it, but that's fine because I have the family already in the tray folder. So let's go and exit game. Okay, so now that we're in Sims 4 Trey uh, Importer, I'm going to pull up our family, which is right here. And it goes, it shows you all the Sims that I created. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I didn't have anything but this hair for the toddlers, which is funny, but I had quite a bit of stuff. Some of the stuff um, you're going to see, it's going to be more so me just wanting to fix the tags. So I went on in and put them on a Sim just so I could fix the tags, but I'm not going to actually get rid of it. Anyway, so then you just choose the folder, the family or the household name or whatever. We're going to go over to CC and this will show all of the CC here that we want to get rid of. So it's going to be super easy. Just, I wish that there was another way we could do it. Like we could just say, delete all of these, but I don't know how else to do it. But anyway, we can go through, it'll actually show here where uh what the thumbnail of the item is we could just right click show containing folder and here it is right here and guess what i can just hit delete and then we can just go down to the next one um it says lumi sims shoe collection merge oh gosh the sad thing is it's probably just one shoe i needed gone out of the collection so since it says merged i could unmerge it but i'm not going to worry about it I probably will let this go. So um, I wish that I could shoe sh sh containing clothes shoes. Yeah, because it's for some self series. So I probably will just let it go. Um, darn it. I didn't think about. And then the other one was Miss 
fortune sims yeah i got rid of that all right so i probably will have to let that one go but this one right here this dress thingy right here i never use that so again just go to the folder and we're going to go on and just hit delete or just right click whatever you want to do it's fine we're going to do the same thing show containing folder this hair right here the alessia hair we're going to go on and delete that um and then we're just going to go in and continue on it's it's real simple uh, and then you just have to go through all of them. Unfortunately, it does take a little bit of time. Uh, I don't think my plan was to get rid of these boots. I think they must have made a mistake and got on a sim uh, without me knowing, which is another good reason why this little thumbnail comes in handy. As opposed to the Sims 4 mod manager, it doesn't show you the thumbnail, so you don't know what it is. So this just says Nadia boots. How do I know what Nadia boots look like? They look like this. So I'm gonna keep that. I did wanna keep that. These though, oh my gosh, these like glitch the, the, the bottom of your Sims shoe, like their foot. So we're just gonna go and get rid of that. The same thing with this one. It was the weirdest thing. So we're gonna delete that one. And then the simplicity hair we're going to show. And probably what I'll do, because I'm really bad about like getting rid of stuff for good for good. I'm going to have to close some of these folders because we're going to have a ton up. Um, I'm probably going to... Um, uh, okay, we'll just leave it like that. I'm probably going to put them in a folder like recently deleted or whatever, just in case I change my mind. Because some of these creators, the, the hair might be gone for good. I, I don't know. But anyway, this is a hoodie invisible hat. I actually do need that. That's if you want to put a hoodie on your sim, but their hair kind of goes through. This makes them have like a bald hair. At the time, I thought maybe it was a missing mesh. So that's the reason why I included it. But I'll go on and leave it in the game. These shoes right here, though, this is a good um, example of what I was talking about. So what we're going to do is go to show some, a containing folder. I love Madeline shoes. I want these shoes, but for some reason they came up for the guys. So I need to fix it where it's just for the female. So let me show you guys how to do that real quick. Okay. So right now I have Sims 4 studio open. So you can either just go to my CC. It'll go actually into your mods folder and pull up all of the stuff that you have here, I'm gonna minimize it because I need to get the exact, so it's shoes and then Madeline. So we need to go to, uh, and I'll put a link for where you can get this from as well. This is also handy for doing batch fixes and stuff like your content management. If you wanna do um, disallow CC for random and all the above, that is pretty much how you could do it. But we're gonna go to uh, shoes and then we're going to go to Madeline or Madeline. And the name of these shoes were called the Rosalie Shoes Package. So let's go down um, to Rosalie. I'm gonna have to look. Oh, my computer's like on a weird angle right now. So I'm trying to uh, see from the angle that I'm sitting. So Elemental P, Q, R, Rosalie. It's gonna be right here. All right, so there are the shoes right here. And Oh, okay, that's weird. It says they are just for female. So I'm not sure why it was coming up. Oh, look, masculine. So we're gonna go on and click that off, apply to all swatches, say yes, and then we're going to go on and save it and get out. So now when we get back in the game, this fashion choice will just be for feminine. For some reason, it was toggled for masculine as well. So we're just gonna minimize that because we're probably gonna have to go back into that and do something else. So that's the reason why I had that taken care of. Then with this one, um, I think I just wanted to get rid of this one. It's not a bad hair, I just don't use it. It's just not anything that's, um, I just, I don't ever use it. Like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. But I love Ebonics. I love all her stuff, but I just don't ever use this one. So we're gonna get rid of Afro Mama and I'm probably gonna get rid of the ping as well because, you know, I, I don't need the picture anymore. Um, then we're gonna go down to the next one. Let's see, we got Sintixin, whatever. <laughs> Shakira hair big. Let's go on and get that one out of here. And again, if I see uh, like the ping, I'll probably go on. And I should have checked that for the other ones because I didn't. Um, okay, try again. No? Okay, skip it. Oh, is it because I'm on it right now? Okay, so let's get off of it and then go back and maybe get rid of it. Shakira ping, is it because I was on it? Oh, wow. It won't let me delete it. Okay. We'll probably have to go through later on and get that. I'm just going to remember that that's there. Uh, I wish I could mark it or just force it to delete. Why is it telling me I can't delete it? All right. No worries. Okay. Then we got the Barbie Malibu waves hair, uh, which is right here. So we're going to delete that and also try to get rid of the picture. Delete. Um, okay. Wow. 
All right. Well, I'm I might have to go back in and get those later. Anyway, so we got this one here, Passion Hair by Kiara24. And basically, that's that's basically how you do it, guys. Um, I want to go through one more time and show you guys show containing folder, which actually, now that I think about it, I could probably show you guys a little bit more of this right here because I think I remember telling you guys a lot of the Ebonics hairs go over um, to both. So I could go to creators and I have her a folder called Ebonics goodies and I could go through really quickly like the zaddy beard um let's see what this one is masculine uh and oh see restrict allow for ransom we got that off right now uh so that should be fine so it's just masculine right now let's go check on these uh these are just Child cover. These are just shoes. So I'm not. Let's make this a little bit bigger because I'm struggling to see what's going on over here. All right, uh, and then we can scoot this over. All right, so we got the braids and top knots. Let's look at these. We got this one here. It's considered for child, and uh, doesn't really say human child. It doesn't really have a fashion choice of feminine or masculine, which means I guess it means it goes over to both. Um, this is just a hat. All right, let's go see what else we got. We got this one here, the top knot. I don't even remember what this one is. I can't rotate it. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, that thing. Okay, yeah, so we can leave that there. Um, the Norwood conversion. I think this one actually goes, okay, see, we'll just put it on feminine, apply to all swatches, because it does go over for the guys too. And then I think... Is it going to tell me the, okay, it doesn't. Okay, so we just keep it at feminine and then female is here. All right, so that way it'll go over just for that. So you could just go over and do it like this if you want to, instead of having to go through each file. And these are just like shirts, but I really am concerned about the hairs. Um, like this one is female, but does it see, and it still comes over fashion choice masculine. So you want to apply to all swatches and then again, save it. All right, and then the same thing with the rest of them. That's the clips. So I want to make sure that they're just on female and not on masculine, and they are. All right. Um, anyways, that's pretty much how you could do it. So I'll probably go through all the abonics and just check them to make sure that they are good. Cause see, like even this one's going over masculine. Uh, but it's fee. But it's funny because it's supposed to be in the female category, but since it's considered a masculine fat fashion choice, it'll show up for the guys too. So it's just like a little tag that you know when the creator made it, if they would have just made sure that that was off, then it wouldn't show up for the guys too. And hence, you probably won't have random you know Sims walking around with this hairstyle, or it won't even come up as an option if that makes any sense. Anyway, I'm gonna finish deleting all of this stuff, and then we're gonna get back into my CC folder and go. Check check out and see how much CC I lost just gigabyte wise, but I'll probably still go through again um, on my CC, like on the cast and just kind of go check out just to make sure everything went over smoothly. I'll probably go through it again, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to stop it here. So let me go through and delete everything. And then I'll show you guys the changes in um, my CC folder. All right, guys, I am done cleaning out my CC folder. It's still a work in progress. There's still a couple of pieces that I wasn't able to completely take out because I realized once I was going through the files that some of them were for the Sim Self series for some of the Sims that are in my game were created by some of the viewers. And of course, I wanted to make sure their Sims stayed true to how they wanted them to be represented in the game. So I didn't get a chance to get rid of a lot of the CC that, um, that I had in, but I got a good chunk, as you guys can see. I got almost two gigs of unwanted CC out of my game. I ended up putting it in another folder called deleted, but not gone mods. Um, and I just stuck it in another folder just in case I decided to go back for whatever reason and just double, double check. Cause like I said, a lot of the CC is not available today because the creators are gone or more than likely the creators are gone. I will say though, I was at what 31.2. So I'm down to 29.5. Um, or actually 29.7, sorry, I'm down to 29.7 for my mods folder. But honestly, y'all, I did have, um, why can't I highlight this? I did have files, uh, that I was waiting to download in order to put into my game. So I probably added not a full gig, but maybe like half a gig of stuff. I don't know, but I did download some new CC and put it in, um, my game. So you know, like I said, it's a work in progress. I did was able to shave off 
like that about two gigs, two and a half maybe, including the deleted stuff, not including the stuff that I ended up putting on there. So that's not bad. I probably could have done a lot better, but for the most part, that's pretty, and that's not including the fun and drag out in my game because I do need to go through. I have, um, which that's a whole other conversation. I have a ton, and that's not including script mods and stuff like that too. But as far as furniture goes, let's. I just want to see how much this furniture folder. Yeah, the furniture. Well, the furniture folder is always well, almost like three gigs, but I'm sure this isn't all just furniture because in some of the creators, I have furniture in here too from some of my favorite creators um, that I like to use. I don't see anybody readily, but I do know I have some in here that's um, just sp specifically furniture, recolors, CC and stuff like that. And they're probably over here. Uh, but anyway, and then they might even be in some of these, which eventually I need to go through all of these and organize those. But we'll do all those at another time. But for the most part, that is the completed process. So just to reiterate or kind of recoup or go over first, <laughs> you want to go through your duplicate files. Um, I always do that first because it makes it easier when you're going through the deletion process. You don't have to go track down two and three of the same file just to go delete it. You could just take care of all your deleted, I mean, all your duplicate files first. And then second, get in the game, do like I did, create like a family of Sims, um, take everything off of them, put all of the unwanted CC you want on them. And third, go into the Sims 4 tray importer and get the CC, go look for the files, delete them. And that's pretty much it. The last thing you want to do, oops, I almost forgot. Um, whenever you do like a lot of big changes and stuff in your game, it's always a good idea to delete the cache. I don't know if it's considered a cache or a cache or whatever, but it's called clearing. It's basically clearing the Sims 4 cache. And I got this from Carl Sims 4 guide. The first thing you want to gonna, gonna want to delete is the local thumbs cache dot package. Um, this file right here now your game will regenerate it so just delete it and it'll be fine and then the second thing you want to do is going to go into the cache folder if there's anything in here you could delete that but nothing's in there right now but do not delete the actual directory and then lastly if there is a folder called the online thumb cache folder you could actually delete this and it'll actually just kind of like reset everything and like i said when you get back in your game it will put everything back up every once in a while i do get rid of these last exceptions because your game's going to generate some more so i'm just going to go and take those out right now and i think that is it so you get back in your game you should be good to go and again like I said I went in and out of my game probably four different times just to double check that I got everything and I also went into Sims 4 studio and fixed a lot of tags on some of those hairs that were tagged for feminine and masculine and I think what happened I wish I would have recorded or took a screenshot I think what happened and this is just something to note um, when EA I mean when um, Maxis or Sims 4 team whatever gave us the update where you can do the feminine and masculine clothing I think what happened was a lot of the older CC that didn't have that when they was created as a tag option, the game defaulted it where you could have had it for feminine and masculine because it would be present like for gender preference for female. But then when you would go down to, um, dress preference or cat, whatever it's called, where it's like masculine or feminine, where you could say, Oh, this dress, this sim dress is masculine. Let me get the masculine dress preference. When you go down to that one, both would be checked. So I think that's the reason why some of those hairs were showing up because it would totally say female and it was only supposed to be female. But then when you go down to the dress choice, it would come up tagged for both. So I just went through and changed all of those. I don't know if there's a way to do it on Sims 4 Studio without going through each individual file. I'm not sure there's a way to do that. If you guys know of a batch fix for that, please let me know because that was a very tedious process going through every single one that I could find <laughs> and literally going into the file and doing what I showed you guys earlier, like applying to all swatches, saving it and then getting back out. It was, it was quite an ordeal. Anyway, um, hopefully you guys, uh, was able to follow along with that. If you have any questions or you need further explanations, please feel free to comment down below in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'm a little bit behind on videos and answering comments and things of that nature as of right now today, but I should be able to get to you as soon as I can. And if you need further explanation or more videos regarding this, also please let me know because I could always make it a little bit more, I guess, in depth for lack of a better word. But anyway, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your evening. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.